Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. Normally we don't talk too much about Overwatch League on here, or we don't tend to report on all the news at least. And recently there's been a lot of news, but also just mixed with different type of drama, rumors and other things being thrown around. But we're going to be focusing on something that I thought was kind of interesting and I thought you guys would probably care about as well. And it's mainly to just bring some more information, just so everyone's aware of why and what's going on exactly. But it is about the sort of Pepe ban. If if you're watching this video, I imagine you're on the internet a decent amount and know about Pepe the Frog, a meme that's been around for quite some time and has been very popular and especially popular on Twitch. Now what's basically happened is that Pepe has been banned from Overwatch League in some ways, at least that's an easy way to kind of word it, in the way that they don't want Pepe signs in the audience, they don't want the players to use Pepe in their tweets and in other sort of ways like that, and they started to ask people to remove Pepe from tweets and other things like that, and yesterday for example, Sinatra tweeted out I believe a sort of birthday type of tweet and I believe it was the sort of Fields birthday man they peppered the frog with the sort of birthday hat and Overwatch League asked him to remove that tweet and following a bunch of other players were also asked to remove Pepe the frog related memes and emotes and stuff like that but let's go into why exactly and it's because Pepe has recently or well in the last couple of years or so been labeled as an alt-right type of icon or at least a sort of hate symbol as well and the whole association with being a hate symbol and recognized as that by some people has led to this decision. An ongoing lawsuit as well is going on between the creator of Pepe the Frog and Infowars as well. Infowars being a quote conspiracy theorist website but also kind of a type of news show I believe. I don't know much about them but they've been in the press in the past for many reasons and not very good reasons either. It's not too relevant to the actual lawsuit as that one is fairly self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go too in-depth with Infowars exactly but what essentially happened is that on their store page on their website they put up a MAGA or Make America America Great Again poster featuring Donald Trump and Pepe the Frog with some other people too and this is what prompted the legal action and I believe this isn't the first time either that the creator of Pepe has been taking legal action to defend the copyright and use of his cartoon. As you can see in the legal documents this is an action to end the misappropriation of Pepe the Frog, Pepe by Defendants Infowars LLC and Free Speech Systems LLC including their sale of a poster copying Pepe through their website Infowars.com. This legal document also lines up exactly sort of how Pepe the Frog has been misused and just yeah used in ways that the creator would not like so this is to defend the sort of copyright and usage of Pepe the Frog. The legal documents 18 pages long not going to be going through the whole thing but yeah that's the sort of main part of it. Anyway Overwatch League obviously don't want to be involved in this in any way and as Pepe has been labeled as a hate symbol by the ADL and also just been connected with a lot of controversial type of memes and stuff like that in the past Blizzard and Overwatch League want to keep this at arm's length and this was followed with Overwatch League asking for removal of any Pepe emotes or memes connected with any players signed to the Overwatch League, any signs in the audience, any tweets from the Overwatch League players, and anything else that Overwatch League players may have on their Twitters and Twitch channels, and even going as far as Discords owned by players that may have a lot of Pepe emotes on them, or just stuff like that. That Discord part is not too official, I've not seen it in any wording yet, but basically I know that Taimu's Discord was handed over to his girlfriend apparently. It all seems a little bit unclear and like a little bit of a mess but basically Overwatch League don't want anything to do with Pepe the Frog for the moment at least. So thoughts on this then? Well from many people's perspective including my own actually Pepe memes are mostly just harmless and especially the ones we tend to see on Twitch or as Discord emotes and I don't think any Overwatch League players had any inappropriate use of Pepe in their tweets either so I'm not sure if the removal of Pepe from Overwatch League was more of a type of legal thing and was more legal advice within Overwatch League or Blizzard or if it was a a sort of safety precaution from their side of things that was more decided by a few higher ups there but either way it's pretty sad to see such a popular twitch meme not be allowed in overwatch league of course it's gonna be very hard to ban pepe from twitch chat in any way as there's so many different pepe emotes and also all of them are enabled by better twitch tv or ffz which are both chrome extensions or at least just browser extensions that twitch don't actually control directly but yeah what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments below i guess we have some more news just a couple other things I wanted to mention about Overwatch League so in other non-drama filled Overwatch news as well we have Nate Nancer announcing that the league is aiming for 28 teams worldwide currently talking about this in an Inven global interview and this is the long-term goal from what I understand season 2 will be the start of this expansion he says and they also want to add additional teams in the Asia and Europe region so it sounds like the 28 teams goal is more of a end of season 
3 or start a season 4 type of goal. But either way, that's exciting. I'm hoping to see some more European teams for season 2 for sure. Anyway, many have been wondering as well when Giguri, the first female player signed to an Overwatch League team that was in the news a lot around the time of that signing, will be arriving in LA to scrim and play, of course. And the Shanghai Dragons, the organization and team that she has been signed to, have confirmed that Giguri is set to arrive on the 23rd of March this week, actually. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Giguri on D.Va and Zarya. She's been on a long time for Zarya, but she's placed a very, very good D.Va as well. So it's good to hear that that's not too far away. Either way, you can keep up with all of this on the Overwatch League website, on the r slash competitive Overwatch Reddit, and a bunch of other places as well. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this time. Thank you guys very much for watching. A sort of Overwatch League news type of video. I don't really like covering player bans and drama all the time here. There's been a lot of different type of news and that sort of stuff from Overwatch League, but I don't really want this channel to just become that type of channel that just reports on all of the drama and so on, as that's not really what I think a lot of people want Overwatch League to be known for. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Overwatch content as per usual. Until next time though, take care and we'll see you then.